So this is the garage. It's a good size. I think it probably holds, I don't know, six, seven cars if you wanted to. Um, probably doesn't look very big on camera, but it goes back quite a good ways. Uh, there's also a ladder that goes up to kind of a storage hayloft. It's not hay, but I think it's probably hay originally, kind of a triangle shape. So it's not very usable, but it's great for storing boxes or anything you ever want to, that you're going to use rarely kind of thing. Uh, we've also got a door over here that leads to a street behind us. Um, which is really good for getting to the pub or for going into the little village, which is just here. Uh, the whole thing slides over, so you can get a cars in here like that. Eventually, I'll be automating it. Um, there's also a little door over there that you can get through, locked and whatnot. Um, but yeah, basically, it's a really good garage for a workshop, which is fantastic. Um, I'm also going to be taking um, these IBCs, they're called, and basically this is where I'm storing all the water at this point. So there's 3,000 liters. Each one of these is 1,000 liters. Uh, I don't know how many gallons that is, but it's a lot. And uh, basically I can fill one of these in about a day. Actually, all three of them will fill up in about a, days of rain, a day worth of rain here um, with that collection system, which is just amazing. Because uh, I use quite a lot of water when I'm, when I'm watering uh, the garden and the grass. Uh, once it's established, which is not established yet, uh, I won't need to water as much. But right now I'm fertilizing it really heavy and I'm really pushing it to grow and spread. So I have to water it probably twice a week to make it go, 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 because our temperatures are really high and it's really dry. Um, but anyways, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff here, like there's concrete uh, sacks over here that I didn't finish that I've still got to use up, hopefully won't be too old by the time I go to use it. And I've got a lot of gravel and sand and stuff like that for mixing concrete. And yeah, basically there's a good little office over here or, or workshop area that I can use. I've got lots of space to store stuff. A lot of junk that we're going to eventually get rid of, but you know, or at least put up there. Uh, one of the other plans I want to do is as a project is I want to make a bit of a lift or an elevator here. Not like a real elevator, but just something with a winch so that I can load boxes or load like wheelbarrows, things that we're never going to use except for once in a while, put them on this and then have it lift up through a hole in the ceiling and just leave it up there. That's kind of a goal uh, because I'm learning how to weld and getting better at that. Hopefully that's something that's in my kind of uh, abilities now. But yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, I'm also going to be taking those IBCs and moving them. We're going to move them down to the far end over here where there's a lot of stuff, which is why I haven't done it yet, because it's going to be a winter job probably. And we're going to buy another five. So we have a total of eight, which is 8,000 liters. So when there's a big rainstorm, which we tend to have a big rainstorm all at once versus or, or like, like a day or two solid, and then it doesn't rain for weeks. So capturing that and capturing 8,000 liters isn't a problem. It's more along the lines of, you know, how many of these things can I get? Because what I'm finding is this isn't really a good spot for it. i got tools over here. If we're going to take a car and park it, it would be good to put there and not back there. So it was just like, you know, hindsight's great, but we're going to move them back there eventually and then reroute all the piping so that it goes to that side. Well, I think that's going to be the end of this, this video. Um, it was nice showing off the house. A little bit embarrassing because, you know, we're living out of boxes. Everything is disaster. Pipes everywhere, dust everywhere, ruined walls, you know, water damage. But it gives you an idea that if you ever would think of doing something like this yourself, just how much work's involved. I'm three years in, we're still in boxes. We still don't have a proper bathroom. We still don't have a kitchen. Um, yes, we could be spending a lot more money hiring people to do stuff, but that wasn't the original plan. That wasn't in our budget. So I'm doing it all myself. I'm enjoying it. It's just a lot slower than you think. I thought eh, by this point, we'd at least have the basics done. But you know, it's going to be another probably seven years of this. So if you're interested in following me and supporting me and cheering me on for the next, I don't know how many years, uh, give me a follow. And I'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. It makes me feel like this is uh, something that's worth doing. Let me know if you have any thoughts on what to do um, other than hiring people. And uh, what would you do with this place would be a, a good question. Yeah. Would you tackle it? Do you think I'm crazy? Um, we've done a lot in the garden and that's it in three years, really. So next up, I'm going to be doing inside the house. I've got a rewire with about 250, 300 plug sockets working with an electrician, but I'm doing all the kind of manual work. So I'll be running all the wires to the fuse board um, and, you know, cutting all the grooves in the walls because, you know, there's six inch or more uh, stone walls that I have to cut into, putting all the plug sockets in, running the wires, that kind of thing. And then the electrician's going to do the final hookup and make sure it's safe and everything. So that's the plan. The next plan is to work on that.
Uh, I may do a video in the next few weeks about how I did all this garden. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting for it to be a little better looking because it's still filling in the grass. Uh, but yeah, for a year of grass, it's not looking too bad. And uh, hopefully in the next few years, it'll look a lot better. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it here. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.